DRP here and welcome back to another video to my channel and today guys yes I'm gonna go ahead uh, and well I'm gonna go ahead and talk about uh, assassination classroom episode 11 if you guys want to check out the reaction go ahead you can check it out right now what you guys need to do as usual go in the description box below click on the link and it'll take you right to architect Cobalt's website and that's where you'll be able to go and see my reaction to assassination classroom episode 11 uh, so I hope to see all your assassination classroom fans there so we get to uh, go ahead and watch the reaction of uh, reaction together and all and most importantly you guys can go ahead and enjoy my reaction to it as well go ahead and enjoy the episodes together and enjoy my reactions as well once you've done that come back to this video and then i'll go ahead and uh and then you can go ahead and see me talk about episode 11 of assassination classroom right now now um this was a very interesting episode because turns out that this kid uh that we saw in the last episode where uh she um well this guy told the kid that you know He's your target. Go ahead. Uh, he's your brother, and he's also your classroom teacher from tomorrow. And um, so, uh, it turns out that this transfer student is called Ituna, and it turns out to be a course brother. Uh, he's kept the reason ca classified on how they are both siblings, how they are both brothers. Uh, he's kept that part hidden, like he hasn't said it yet, revealed it, but he said you are indeed his brother. So it was interesting, and. He he just comes through breaking for a wall. It was crazy. It was it was it was like crazy because he just comes breaking for a wall, and um, it turns out that um, when Karma spoke to him, he told he asked him. It was raining outside. He didn't bring a jacket. How did he not? And he came through the back door. Like he broke through the back door. Like through the wall. I mean the back wall. And Karma was like, "Wait a second. It's raining. We came breaking in, and you're not wet. How is that possible?" <coughs> he doesn't answer that, Ituna, but Ituna also specifically mentioned something interesting saying uh, You won't die because you're weaker than me. I only kill the p people that are stronger than me So he goes for Koro Sensei and after school uh, they start off the battle And instantly like there's this guy who actually comes in before Ituna comes in It's kind of like his guide or something and the guide you know said to Koro Sensei as a condition for the fight was that um, if you step out of the, you know, the place where they're fighting at, so they have this, they have this like space just for the fighting scene, and if they ever step out of that point, like that parameter of the far of the stadium, or you could call it a stadium, then your life is forfeit, basically. Uh, Carl Sensei also says that uh, if um, uh, if you hurt any of the students, then that counts as a forfeit as well. As well. And they were like, okay, we'll do that. And he was like, alright, Ituna, and he goes, to, he tells Ituna to attack. As soon as he went, start the fight, suddenly Koro-sensei's arm just, just gets cut off. And I was like, bro, what is this? And it turns out that Ituna's hair was made out of tentacles. Ituna's hair became tentacles. And I was like, bro, like, what is this? This is crazy. I was just like, no way. So he also has tentacles, like... Well, sensei except it's on his hair and it's white as well like the, his hair color basically and he was pushing Kota sensei to the limit and constantly didn't say he was getting very agitated because he didn't know what was going on but then he came up with the quick response that i really liked was the fact that uh if uh, the tentacles works in the same way as Kota sensei's tentacles then it also means that the weapons that the student has you know those bubble those rubber knives it doesn't affect, it doesn't hurt humans, but it definitely hurts Koro and Sensei a lot. If it hurts on Koro and Sensei, that means it also hurts on Ituna's tentacles, because the, the Ituna's tentacles works the same way as Koro and Sensei. So Koro and Sensei used that to his advantage, and he actually ended up beating Ituna. Big surprise there! Uh, so, uh, and it then turns out that, you know, he was telling Ituna, you know, you know, you're not strong enough, but you can stay in the classroom, you can learn a thing or two and stuff like that. And Ituna gets very angry, because apparently he doesn't like to be lectured on. And then suddenly he his uh he grew tentacles again and this time it was black color tentacles. Don't know whether that's kinda like a signifying the fact that his powers increased tenfold or something. But he comes to attack Cole Sensei again, but his guard ended up putting him down for the count. And he was like, you know what, I'll take him away for a while, thank you so much and he just goes away. And it just yeah, that's how it basically ends the episode and then <laughs> uh the last part was just Cole Sensei Bill so embarrassed that he got so pissed at this fact and um, but, um, you know, there's still a lot of question to be revealed as to why is his brother, 
uh, where the concerts are even come from. You know, he just goes ahead and, you know, there's a lot of things that are interesting in this episode that has to be answered in the future episodes. There has to be a way there they answer it. Otherwise, you know, you know, I wouldn't know. Like, it would be so confusing. So, yeah, that's what this episode was, basically, overall. It was very interesting, I gotta say. And uh, I definitely enjoyed it. But once again, it was only one episode, guys. Uh, as for why it's one episode, uh, only one episode reaction, I've kind of explained that in my uh, reaction video instead. So once again, guys, go ahead, check out the video. Check out my reaction to the episode first and then come back and see this video, which is more of a review, review of the episode. So yeah, on that note, I'll end the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction or thank you for watching my reaction and then my review of Assassination Classroom episode 11 today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy today's video today, then smash the like button, comment and share, do all those good things here to see more content on me doing more Assassination Classroom reactions. However, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and join the DLP Guild today so you won't miss a single video from my channel, guys. Whether it's gaming videos, whether it's reaction videos, or whether it's live streams. So as always, guys, this is your boy Dino signing out and have a nice day. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. So until then, peace.